This record release party on the Kitsap Peninsula was nearly 50 years in the making. I'm back in the closet again. In 1973, Patrick Haggerty, a singer-songwriter living on Seattle's Capitol Hill, released a country album unlike any other. Lavender Country is the world's first out gay country album. Back then, a gay country band wasn't just unusual. It was a revolutionary act. Songs like Gay Bar Blues and Back in the Closet Again drew gay fans, but no commercial success. It slept for a long time. Um, because whoever heard of gay country in 1973, and it was pretty outrageous anyway, just to be gay country. He grew up in Port Angeles on a cow farm in the 50s. When he wanted to perform in a dress at his Catholic school talent show, his dad didn't bat an eye, just drove him there and watched the show. That acceptance helped Patrick grow into who he was meant to be, an artist, an activist, and a queer, loudmouth socialist, his words. He has his dad's advice, don't sneak, emblazoned on his lavender cowboy boots. Of course I made the world's first gay country album. <laughs> In 2014, someone found a Lavender Country album on eBay and put the title song on YouTube. Patrick got a call from a record label. We want to reissue Lavender Country. We want to give you a record contract. So Patrick, now 78, got the band back together, including original guitarist and keyboard player Robert Hammerstrom and bassist Bobby Innocenta. They just released a new album. Blackberry Rose and a new generation of fans is coming to Lavender Country. Uh, younger folks and middle-aged folks, you know, of all orientations. It's all about the music, you know. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a music that everybody enjoys, you know, straight people, gay people, young and old. It's just a fun time. And the front man of the world's first out and out gay country band says better late than never. So the world had to get ready for Lavender Country. <laughs> and it took mm, about 45 years. Um, but eventually the world did catch up. Yeah.